morning has been very, very stressful. I woke up yesterday in the vlog, I had mentioned that Omar had a little snot in his nose. And this, last night, like he just, all night long, was just blowing snot bubbles and not sleeping. And you can tell he was just not comfortable. So um, I had already decided I was gonna take him to the vet today. And then when we woke up this morning, he just started coughing and like coughing up just like phlegm and sneezing and it just seemed like he couldn't breathe. So I called Ernie. Ernie is an angel and God, this is like six o'clock in the morning by the way. So me and Ernie took him to the vet, ER vet, and it seems like he has caught kennel cough of some sorts, which the only way that I even know that, that could have happened was playing with other dogs outside the apartment. That happened this morning, which has completely stressed me the fuck out, and I am basically not doing anything today. I'm going to stay here with him and monitor him. He's on meds, so hopefully, um, where are you going? Hopefully that clears him up pretty quickly, but as of right now, um, I don't know if I'm coming to California. I'm not gonna leave him, so it just really depends on what happens with him. So, it, but if he doesn't like improve, 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 like super dog improve, I'm probably not coming because, um, yeah, I just can't do it. So, I just can't leave him. I'm just not gonna do it. It's not worth it. And, uh, and I mean, I know I can have someone watch him, but yeah, if he's not doing like really really well by Friday I'm, I'm staying here figure out what to do with the exclusive merch or whatever but it is what it is so Omar definitely comes first in this situation so I don't know today is really just not gonna be a vlog I'm not gonna try to like find something to do I'm just gonna spend time with him and make sure he's cool and I'll show you guys these samples versus the uh, the samples versus the retail pair. We'll take a look at that real quick because it's very easy for me to do, but that's gonna be it. Yeah, and I still have to do stuff for tomorrow's drop. So I've just got enough work to do here and I, I really too stressed to try to fit a vlog in, honestly. So, all right, that's what my day looks like. I'll see you guys in a little bit. You feel me, baby? You look a lot better than you did this morning. Come on, let's go outside. How you doing, baby? I'm not feeling good. See, I'm not feeling good. Poor guy. Everybody hopes you get better soon. Um, Omar is not doing well today. He's been resting pretty much all day. It's like almost four o'clock. And uh, <sighs> yeah. If he's not doing a hundred percent better by Thursday night, I'm probably not coming to Sneaker Con. I not even begin to imagine to leave him here, and I just don't wanna have anybody else watch him while I'm gone, and then be stressed out about what's going on, and get a phone call that something else has happened. So, um, I know kennel cough is pretty common with dogs, but English Bulldogs have such bad problems, respiratory system problems, that uh, I'm not even gonna take the chance. And I don't know what'll happen with the merch. Um, most likely, it'll get dropped online if, because it's already made, so if we don't make it to Sneaker Con, I guess we'll just drop it online. But for right now, it's up in the air. I might be in LA, I might not be, I really don't know. I'm really sorry for anyone that's coming to Sneaker Con to meet me. Um, if I don't make it, it's not my intention. I'm really sorry, but Omar kind of comes first, so that's just kind of the way it is. Alright, so the uh, one thing that the people people in the streets are asking me about are the differences between my sample pair of run through times and the retail pair of run through times. We'll get into it real quick. There's really not very many differences to be honest. There's some slight, slight things. Um, keep in mind this one does look different because it's been worn pretty heavily and the sample or the retail pair has not even been put on my feet yet. So uh, the Main difference, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna give you a check, second to spot it. See if you can see it. There's one main difference between the two shoes that stands out pretty quickly. All right, so the main difference, the three stripes and how they are um, painted. So like the sample pair, it's rather opaque and you can see the, uh, I'm just gonna call them dot holes. You can see the dot holes kind of coming through on one stripe. On the retail pair, the stripes have it all the way throughout. It's like all dotted on both sides. You can kind of see it just like 
can see the PK pattern dots. I really don't know what you would call them other than that, but this is super opaque. Um, the suede on the toe box, so that this is the sample pair, the suede on this toe box is a little less smooth than the retail pair. This is still really nice suede, but it's a little more buttery on the retail pair, so that's nice. The toe guard itself is pretty much exactly the same. Everything is the same. Um, everything there is the same. Heel cup is exactly the same. Uh, heel cup is exactly the same. The back heel tab is pretty much the same. The um, sample pair, the sample pair actually, this back uh, ribbon seems to have a little more detailing than the retail pair, but it's very slight, very, very slight. But you can just see the details of the W pattern just a little bit better. Um, Ultra Boost, all the same, all the same. Um, the tabs, the consortium tabs are exactly the same. Same, seems like the same material, which makes me think that this might not feel as smooth. The uh, sample pair might not feel as smooth because I've actually worn these pretty heavy. I wore these all over London and few other places different cities but um, so that might just be kind of fucked up but this is so buttery smooth right now for sure all the suede around the around the laces are the same same consortium tab same material same branding uh, one very slight difference too on the inside I believe so this retail pair is a little smaller I'm sorry this is the sample pair and it seems like the French flag might be just a hair smaller in there, but I might be just grasping at straws here trying to find slight differences for you. Uh, some people will call these fake. Well, these fake, they're not fake. Um, I can assure you of that, they're samples. The reason that we buy samples is because, you know, well, I don't buy a lot of samples, but things definitely do change from sample to retail pair often. That's why they're called samples. Um, this one came with like a generic insole and then of course the uh, consortium insole for the retail pair. Extra laces that came with the retail pair, that's a big difference. And really, other than that, they're exactly, they're, they're the same, you know, continental sole. This continental sole doesn't look as white because it's been worn, again, it's been worn and it's a little dirty. But yeah, there's, I mean, that's it. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to look and see if there's anything else I'm not seeing. Profile is the same. Again, this one just hasn't been worn. So this one's a little bagged out because my big ass foot's been in it. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's your comparison side by side. Retail versus, retail versus sample. So really not much of a difference. Honestly, happy with both, happy to have both. Uh, the sample pair was a gift from Matt Sager. So I know he paid a lot for them. I don't know exactly how much, but he paid more than, more than average, that's for sure. I'm um, really stoked to have the retail pair as well. Both will get worn, samples might get a little bit of a, a break and these will just become on dead stock. And even though we've already done on feats for these before, I will show them to you right now on my feet. Cut to the footage.
that's pretty much it for the day. Sorry for the uh, lack of interesting vlog, I'm sure, because I did not go anywhere today. It's just me and Omar time. Tomorrow might be just me and Omar time. It's really just about getting him better right now. So pretty focused on that. Um, other than that, the only thing that I think I need to inform you about is there will still be an online drop tomorrow, but we're gonna do it tomorrow night at 8 p.m. So Godzilla shirts and tank tops are dropping, and so are Pan Am, Pan Am Catch Me If You Can, the tour shirt, um, that is also dropping online tomorrow. Uh, tank tops and t-shirts. So that's at 8 p.m. tomorrow night, mountain time, and yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna go take care of this little baby bulldog, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.